and hello everyone. Welcome to Workshop Wednesday. This is going to be an interesting one. <clears throat> We're back after two weeks gone. I'm afraid I was quite sick last week, so it just wasn't going to happen. But this time, we will be able to do a um, a project, and tonight's project is rather ambitious. Tonight, I'm going to build a coat rack, a freestanding coat rack. So this post will be the center of it. And then the way this is going to work is I've already pre-cut some pieces. So I've got these pieces are going to be what we hang the, uh, the posts from, or the, the, um, the coats from, rather. So they will go on the side like this, pretty simple. Uh, then I'll also cut these pieces, which will be glued to the side of the coat rack on the bottom. So you'll have one of these, you have four of these running all the way around the rack, and that'll be secured to a, just a simple square base. Pretty straightforward, right? So the first question is going to be how I'm going to do this in terms of the ordering of things. Does it make sense for me to do the base first and then put everything else on from there or it'll be easier to put the hangers on the side and then put that on. I think it's going to be easier putting it on the base because then I can just stand it up on the base and then nail and screw these to the side. Um, yeah, I think that makes sense. So first thing is to take these pieces, find all these pieces. So there are them. So here are the pieces. So I'm, all I did is I got three uh, two inch by two inch boards at the local Home Depot. Oops, excuse me, the local Home Depot. And like I said, I'm just going to put these um, on there. So I think what I'm going to do for this is we're going to scale out a bit so you can see the entire environment. Um, I've laid down, as you can see, some blue, there's a blue tarp, and I'm going to use that as my kind of work surface for this. Very simple. Um, so first thing to do actually is going to be to measure these. Now the other problem is that my base is this piece of plywood, but it's quite bowed, as you can see there. So that means, and it's, I mean, it's stiff. Um, I mean, I can live with that in the sense that I'm okay with the base being curved, but I'm a little concerned about and first thing I'll do is, is kind of mark it off and maybe um, maybe trim it a little bit. But I'm concerned about um, where all of those, yeah. Because basically if I screw it down to this and I just measure each of the supports, uh, because of the curvature of the piece, they won't match. Well, I have to sort of fit it to the piece. The first thing to do is to lay this down and get a sense of what we're doing. Um, actually, um, I have another piece. One second. Might be able to use a, a scrap for this. Yeah. So this is a leftover piece of wood that I'm just going to use as my... Um, my stand-in for the full piece of wood. That way I'm not, you know, messing around with it too much. Um, can I move this? Yeah. So there's roughly the middle of the, the wood, uh, of the support. So now I'm going to take my four supports and get an idea of, they go there. Oh yeah, so I can trim this quite a bit and that'll help with the curvature. So that's good. Um, so I might just sort of measure and say, okay, I know if we're going to go there, we're going to go there. Let me actually grab, yeah, it's very curved. 
Um, actually, you better do it that way. Okay, I might even do it this way. I kind of like that, have the, the diamond shape. Um, okay, so I need a pencil. Where's my pencil? There's a pencil. So what I'm going to do quite simply is say, if this is here, and this is flush, then that would be about here. Okay, so I know what that is. And then from there, I can do the same thing over here to know that I have to go out to here, which tells me that I need to go to around here on my piece. So I'm going to do a mark out here. So that tells me that my piece needs to be this big. And then what I'll do is I'll just measure real quick. Oh, that's very different. Interesting. So I got those dimensions wrong. That's why we try these things. Um, so I think what I'll do is I will take the max of those two. I'd rather have a slightly larger piece than a smaller one. So that's telling me, huh, interesting. There's my width there. And so it's telling me that that would actually be square. So it's telling me to go out to there to get an even amount. So I, this must have been spun a little bit. Okay, that's fine. So we just cross out the original mark, make a new mark, so I know what I want to cut. Um, so here's the other thing. I think this might be easier. Well, no. Yeah, um, I need to cut this now. There's no, sorry, you can't even see me. Um, unfortunately, there's no really easy way of working with it. So if I don't cut this and put it all together, then I'm gonna have to cut it later with everything on it, which is gonna be really difficult. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, and I'm going to leave you uh, temporarily while I go and do that. Um, it might be easier. One second, let me just pull up a, I think I have some files here. Uh, 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 yeah, we'll do that. So, I will be right back, see if we can pull this in. Um, good. That'll do roughly. Okay. So, I will leave you with a cartoon. Uh, I will be back in a few minutes. Автор сценария Чет Стоувер, композитор Джон Зенцпер, режиссер Лив Грэм, продюсер Олтер Паппин.
Почему вы одеваетесь в такой спешке, месье Фок? Мы должны нынче же покинуть Англию или не уложимся в град. Парлеву! Так скоро вас со стороны не выпустят, месье. Для этого по меньшей мере нужно... Но это невозможно. Нужно что, дружище? По меньшей мере нужно разрешение самой королевы Виктории. Именно. Поэтому мы идем сейчас в Букингемский дворец. Аудиенции назначены на полдень. Надо поторопиться. Парлеву! Королевская аудиенция! О, боже! Что взять с собой, месье? А, дай-ка подумать. На такой случай наверняка понадобится три подзорные трубы. Это вам, это мне, а это кому? Зачем нам третья это нужна? А вдруг пригодится паспорту? Не страшат того напасти, кто предвидел все несчастья. Ага, понятно. Итак, упакуй эту скатерть, моток веревки, четыре мебельных колесика и большую ракетницу. Мебельные колеса, ракетница. Один граммофон, две вязальные спицы и четыре матрасные пружины. Граммофон, вязальные спицы, матрасные пружины. К чему, месье? Кто предвидел все напасти, не грозят тому несчастья. В таком случае мы просто обязаны взять с собой портрет месье Фикса. От этой напасти я защищу вас, как и обещал Мамзель Белинде. Фикс может напасть в любой момент. То-то! Путь! Кэп! Кэп! Ага, и нужен кэп. Они его получат. Постановись, приятель, на твое место. Такси заказывали? Да, милейший, мы... Минуточку. Возможно, это проделки фикса. Я должен обыскать коляску. Его здесь нет. Месье Кучер, остерегайтесь очень нехорошего человека с усами. Он настоящий мастер маскировки. Он будет вставлять нам палки в колеса, чтобы мы не успели обогнуть мир за 80 дней. И Фок не женился бы на Белинде Вейс. Уговорили, мистер, я буду держать ухо востро. Зарезайте. Букингемский дворец любезный, и не жалейте лошадей. Уговорили, мистер. Букингемский okay, дворец back. Let's get to this, and actually, I might, one sec, yeah, and we'll just do one camera for now. All right, so, um, here's the fixed platform. Um, it is much less curved than the one before, but there's a little bit of a curve to it. You can see there, but that's okay. I can live with that. All right, so, <clears throat> Uh, next step is going to be to find the midpoint of this, and I'll just use a weird mark. Uh, pencil was right here, it was right there, I was using it, and it's now disappeared, so I have to go for another pencil. Maybe I use it outside. Not a problem. Should have more pet. I have no other pencils. That's bizarre. Or oh, there it is. It just went out of the way. All right, so I'm gonna take the corners and the corners. All right. So I now know the midpoint of my board by crossing those two lines, and so I can now start figuring out how to affix this to that. Um, first thing is to remove a label. I don't like these little stickers. Get that off there. Ooh, it broke. That's always annoying too. I like the sticker to just peel off in one piece, but it never seems to want to do so. Okay. Yep. Yep. So like I said, I think it's going to be easier to put this on here. Now, ideally, I would glue it on, screw it on the bottom, and then screw the others to it, but I don't really have a good way of doing that. They can't really clamp it anywhere. 
This is going to be interesting. Um, I can certainly glue it down, but it's just going to fall right over. Especially because it's not... Uh, hmm, this is interesting. Um, so what I could do is attach these to the side and then attach those. I think that's what I'll do. Yeah, so I can attach the supports onto here, then attach the supports onto the piece. Yeah, so I'll do it that way. Um, there's always a way. All right, so I'm just going to mark here where the top of that should go. All right, there's a little mark. And then I'm just going to come up onto the, onto there and put that on. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll make this work one way or another. That might, yeah. the mouse is being a little troublesome. All right. So, yeah, that would be a little weird. See, here's my workspace. Why can't you see? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Uh, probably flip this around. All right. Can I fit that under there? No, I'll have to raise this up. Get this other uh, platform out of the way for now. <coughs> from here and let's re-enable our camera all right so this is gonna go like this basically right and I'm gonna do this in kind of a couple of different ways um, I'm going to screw it in I'm gonna actually screw a, a hole into this then I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, put, ah, then I'm gonna put glue on and then I'm gonna screw it in um, I'm using just straight up Elmer's glue, not, you know, not like wood glue, but that should help. Not the, the biggest thing in the world. All right, so first thing is to do a pilot hole. Get an idea of where all my camera angles are. And then I've got these big old screws, but they're big old screws, although I think I like that. So if we have our... Our board here this would go in Wow but that would be good to have it go in that much um, yeah all right so we're gonna fit the thing so we want the bit to be about the size of the main screw perhaps a little smaller so that we don't accidentally dig out any of the thread. That looks, eh, I'll go a little smaller than that. Okay, so this is gonna be our, our bit. Whoa, lost a screw. I've only got 300 more. Well, there we go. So, and again, we're going to go in and angle. And so the advantage here is that there's no way I could even go in. I have to go straight in to go into the wood. So I can do this on a table without worry. All right. And that's going to go in like that. And I'm going to try to go in basically 45 degrees like that. Bit of a, a nick into there. Not, not too crazy. Not too wonderful, but that's okay. Uh, actually, I might. Yeah. Oops. A little bit in there. Okay. Um, then, actually, I might as well screw that in. So, again, we will simply do that by putting down our glue. We're gonna swap out our bit. I, I, if I were a little bit better at this, I would have two screwdrivers. 
I actually do have another screwdriver, but that would just kind of slow us down a bit too much. So we'll see how this works. We'll put that there. We'll put the screw in like this. And then Is going in. Okay. No, it's not. I do not have the uh, the torque to go into that. Okay, I will have to get the other screwdriver. One second. Corded screwdriver. I just have to plug it in. Unfortunately, I do have it's a short cable, but I can plug it in here, and I think that will do. Okay. Yeah, I've got enough leverage there. Good. That's going the right direction. Wow, I can't get it to go in. Nope. And I've probably stripped the screw at this point. Okay, that's a problem. Uh, so, I probably need smaller screws. I have smaller screws. Um, I was just being over ambitious. Okay, so what have I got in terms of less crazy screws? Um, those are the same size. Mm. I'm going to start losing screws. Um, Alright, I'm going to have to start going for these guys. That's not going to go down very far, though. I'm going to have to redo that. Alright, so here's the question. Can I back out that screw? Yes, good. Okay. So that's out, and so now I'm going to, basically, it's going to be a little funky, I'm going to try to angle that back down a very different angle. It's not pre-drilled, or anything, but I'm hoping that, yeah. let's see what happens here. Line up. Wow. Nope. See, there's just not enough. That barely went through. Okay, so we got to redo that. Okay. So, what we're going to do is a completely different hole, completely new hole here. Um, and I'm just going to re-drill that. Live and learn. Uh, where's my bit? That's odd. I had the bit right here. Uh, it's not there, it's not there, it's not there. There it is. Okay, so now we will do what I was saying before, where I'll have this drill with the bit in, the, the drill bit, and this one with the screwdriver. This one here. All right, so we're gonna redo this. So we're gonna do a new hole, basically. It's gonna go, whoa. Ah. Awkward angle. What? Oh. 
<laughs> I was trying to go backwards, which doesn't go very well. All right, then we're going to use one of these shorter ones. Clean that off a bit. Add some more glue. Then we're going to try to screw that down do the second hole. And we can always fill that in with wood putty. The other one. Again, try to go forward. Come on. Oh, come on. <sighs> All right, well that's in, if nothing else. Very firmly against that, I guess that's the best I can do with that. Uh, let me... Yeah. Alright, so we've got it started. Definitely not the cleanest thing I've ever done, but that's fine. Um, so now we're just going to kind of lather, rinse, repeat. Um, and basically, rotate, do the same thing. I think the easiest way to do this with this setup is going to be to move the table a bit. actually kind of exciting uh, because this whole thing and this always spins such that it, there we go this whole thing is on casters so I can just pull it out so we're actually moving further into the room and now I have more space to move, yeah, get some of this stuff out of the way. Um, I can spin this guy, have him be like there-ish, let me pull out even further, why not? Uh, too many things around, uh, all right, yeah, that's catching there, and that's catching there. Everything's catching on everything else. That's that actually under... No, okay. All right. So I have a bit more room to maneuver. Um, so now, basically, like I said, I'm just going to kind of do the same thing on each side. Okay. Let's grab the rest of these pieces. So here's one, two, three... Where's the fourth one? There it is. All right. And we'll just line it up with that guy. Uh, drill our pilot hole, if you will. Okay. And then drill. Oh, that might not go. One sec. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, I will connect this guy up to this. an extension cord there all right then we can let's go ahead I got a bunch more of these smaller screws so I can just use those all right um, might as well glue that down there we go and then use this guy with a smaller screw And hopefully I can get a, a decent angle on this. All right, that's not too bad. Whoa, wait a minute. 
That's way lower. Why did that end up so low? Can I reposition it? I'm hoping I can. Ow! I'm fine. Just dig me. What's happening there? Am I bleeding? Don't think so. Alright. I want that there. Where did that hole get? In. Come on. Okay. It's just refusing to go in. It's like there's a knot there or something. Yeah, there's just no movement. Well, it is kind of set. Nope. Okay. Well, I can live with that for now. Perhaps redo the... Mm. Yeah, it's just red. Yeah, I'll get a bandage on that real quick. Okay, I just nicked my, my finger, my thumb there. So you can see a little little redness. Enough to wear. Like, okay, I'll put a, a bandage on it for now. Should be fine by tomorrow. All right. Why is that? All right. So, let's... Right again. This time I'm going to go a little higher in the expectation that it will actually drive the. Yeah, just by a couple of hair's breadth. It'll drive it down a little bit as it's screwing in. Getting to do that. And this time I'll try going straight in. Okay. Got some, some movement there. Cool. All right. Give us the glue. Started a bit. Why isn't this going in? There's a nice hole right there. You're supposed to drive into. There we are. Just had to find it. Oh, that's much better. 
That's so much better. That's not quite flush, but a lot closer to flush than the rest of these guys. All right. <coughs> then, again, same thing here. All right. We're actually making some good progress. Some decent progress. Line that up. I said lined up. Ooh. There. Oh, go in. No, you have to go in. Need a little extra, uh, extra push. All right, we're getting close to having this done. Now, obviously, I'm not going to keep this. Uh, maybe, not, maybe not obviously, but I'm not going to keep this plain. I'm going to paint it black when I'm done, just to make it look a little nicer. All right, put that there. Uh, grab our screw. Yep, going forward. Ah. so weird I drove way in but okay I now have all four posts now I'm betting this is not even at all no it's quite clearly uneven dang it all right well let's put it on here and see what happens okay so what's happened is <coughs> Uh, my base is a little too short, so there's a gap there. So what I'll do is grab some wood and make a shim. So I want to make sure that the wood here isn't uh, floating. I, I want to give the extra uh, weight on the center of the base there. So I'm going to look for scrap pieces of wood that are a good size to fit under there. These are all just little scrap pieces of wood. That might actually be, that's about right. Okay. Uh, Okay, um, so I just need to cut these. And I'm actually going to, it's the easiest way to do this. Uh, the easiest way to do this is I'll be right back.
I just cut a few pieces off this little bit of wood. And I think that's going to be, yeah, that's right. So I'm just going to put one of those underneath there as a shiv or a shim. That's fine. Um, all the rest of these fits. Actually, what I'm going to do for simplicity's sake, so to speak, I'm going to keep this here. I'm not going to nail it down or screw it down yet. Um, so that I have kind of the flexibility to screw these guys on and put them where I want them to without that, um, uh, without worrying about things getting pulled up or ripped around. Um, although on the other hand, if I do that, it's going to be harder to flip this over and secure it. So I'm rethinking that right now. It might actually be easier. Hmm. How would I do that though? How am I going to secure it on there? Because I want to secure it from the bottom. I want to put uh, screws on from through, through, through the bottom um, into this. So screw through the bottom into this all the way around. That way they don't show on the top. Um, but that means I have to kind of flip them over and I have to do it from the side. But how do I clamp these onto that? Um, I wonder, could I do bungee cords? Could I wrap bungee cords like around there in like a figure eight loop? I might be able to do that. One second. I will show you a cartoon though. Be right back. Okay, we're going to try something. I have no idea how this is going to work out, but we're going to give it a try. So I'm going to put this guy up here. And then I'm going to... See if I can loop a bungee cord around 
maybe like that. So that's like that. And this can go up like that. Uh, not quite. Okay. Grab a short open. Or I can tie one. That one's that long. Um, I'm not certain I have a fairly short bungee cord here somewhere. That's shorter. Okay, so if I do this. It's just gonna fall that way. Okay, no, there's a, there's a way. Um, so maybe if I have, okay, so let's, let's leave that here for now. Mm, come on. I'm not looking for anything perfect, I just want you to sort of hang. Well, it's tough, it's, it's, it's too heavy. Okay. Uh, then... I do have this little guy, that longer guy. I'm wondering if it's possible for me to wrap. That's a sh probably short one. Yeah. So if he's going around there, I might be able to do something like this. Which would be enough just to kind of hold it in place. I need to move this out a bit more. Okay. So. That's not too terrible, actually. Like, it's holding it. Which is the point. Um, that might be enough for me to do what I need to do. Alright. So. <coughs> um, now I just need to measure and screw in. Okay. So really, I can just do it this way. You know, that's that far. Okay, good. Pencils underneath my foot. So I want that to be there. Okay, so that's there, that's, measure twice, cut, cut once, right? So that's there, that's there, if that's, yeah, good, a little bit farther down, but that's my line. All right, so as long as I get that in the center, and we can reorganize as we go, I think we're in business. All right, so I'm going to drill a hole here. Actually, what I can do is get it in place. Okay. And then I know I want it here. Actually, I have the... That's interesting. It's upside down. Huh. Okay. Hold on. Um. Actually, it's supposed to be this way. And that's why it was so far down the center. Nope. Okay. Huh. This is now curved upwards. interesting um well like i said i'm not too well but i'd rather have it like that um so it's curved but now it's it's definitely not quite right there yeah there's no question this at least gives me full coverage all right so we'll do it that way um, the more you learn, so to speak. All right, so that's gonna be 
there, and then we mark. I've already marked because I know where that should be. All right, so I've got a place so I can go ahead and drill my. Actually, it might just be easier. Well, all right, so now we can redo what we had before. We'll go there, and this will go around. and hook up him and hook up with him. Okay, good. So again, the point here is just to keep this from completely falling all over the place. So it'll be held in roughly the right position. And I don't have to fiddle with it every five seconds. All right. So that there. Now I drill my pilot hole. Okay, hole drill. Now like before, that should be fine. to pull it out a bit and then drive it further in. Nope. Okay. Fair enough. Now, move it around. Second verse, same as the first. And we can rotate it a bit to make sure it's angled the way we expect. Give it our Mark. Whoa. And I need to grab a few more of those screws. I know I have a bunch. Good. Now these guys should be correctly oh so that's where I think it should be and those are pretty off but I can live with that significantly but I can I can adjust a bit that's gonna go here yeah mm -hmm. on the home stretch at least for the base. <clears throat> Doesn't want to go in. Did I hit the hole? It must be. Must not have it on the hole. anywhere else for it to go. So it goes in. 
a little extra effort perhaps, but all right. And then this guy. Wow, yeah, that is off kilter. Well, like I said, what can you do? One does one's best. Okay. Obviously, I'm not bothering to glue down here. Would not be a bad idea, but I'm, it's a bit too late for that now. Yeah. Again, it helps go the right direction. Shoot. What just switched off? The light down there. Why did you switch off? Oh, the bulb just died. Okay, well, I can fix that later on. Okay, so we've got some screws that aren't quite in. <laughs> Must have hit a knot or something, but I think this will stand now. We got. Whoops. Okay, yeah, that's. Try to get it on a reasonably level playing field. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Now, again, I'll need to put my spacer down here. The extra stability. I'll, I will probably glue that. Good, that feels fine. It's a little loose, um, but I'm hoping with the glue. On the bottom, that will that will be pretty solid. Uh, okay, and I should actually probably screw in that bottom piece. Let me do that. That's not a bad idea. Okay, so it should be. Uh, significantly off center Oops. okay yeah it's actually spinning in place down there of what I expect. Um, I'm going to use the exact same screw. I should go quite a bit deeper on that one. It's one of those. Why not? Oh, it's split. All right, well, again, not the worst thing in the world, as long as it stays in there. The reason not to use a, a long screw. 
Okay, we use a short one. Fine, fine. Oh, come on. There we go. Actually, let me let me throw some glue in there. I don't know how. Never mind. Actually, I could. Yeah. Do it that way. that's going. We'll push those pieces together. Oops. Not that much. All right. Good. Yeah, that's much more solid. Good. Now I can start on the hangers and I want these to be you know again obviously fairly high up and then down I have a total of eight don't know if I'm going to use all of them uh, one of the questions is whether I want to do um, whether I want to do them uh, you know a whole cluster at once or kind of you know at intervals all the way down I kind of like the interval idea I'll probably do that um, so I have to measure that where are we o'clock all right so we've been going about an hour that's not bad so I think we'll want yeah we'll want these to be no more than my eye height so I'm gonna mark off for the first one so again it's about, about eye height that'll be good for like a you know hats and such All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna do this the same way we did the other one. Um, you know, the same way we did the base, we'll just drill a pilot hole, glue, and then uh, drive in a screw. Although I don't have many of those smaller screws anymore, so let me look a little bit more in what I have to spare. Uh, in these kind of spare screws, there's a Fourth, they're all slightly different in size and shape. Um, I want ones with flat heads as opposed to round heads because round heads will stick out. Right? Uh, and I don't want anything hugely long either uh, or hugely thick. Like that's a bit silly as a drywall screw. Um, I mean, I could have some that are. It had these round heads. Certainly not something this this short though. Um, and it's still long. Yeah, that's, a good, that's a decent size. That's a good size. That's a good size. I have a fair number of these. If I were stronger, I would drive several screws in, uh, including a long one. But I'm I don't seem to have the uh, physical strength. Uh, okay, there are a few more. Okay, yeah. So I could do I could do eight here if I wanted to. Um, and again, maybe I'll do. Um, yeah, because these aren't going to be deep enough to hold those up. So I'm going to need I'm probably going to need these longer screws for this. All right, let's see what happens. Uh, but first, let's get some stuff out of the way. You don't want to be stepping on your own pieces, so to speak. Oops. So all of that is perfectly fine, but not something we need right now. 
All right, so now we can we can do some work without killing ourselves. Um, all right, so first thing is drill the pipe. Hole. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is you know, pretty long. <clears throat> I might be able to pull this out, go a little deeper with a bit. <clears throat> all right. So this is here. And I want that to be flush. I drill all the way up in if I can. Whoa. Apparently I can. That's as far as that'll go. Okay, so this does not have the power to go any further. So that's an interesting question. Maybe if I switched out and used the power drill for these, <clears throat> it would be more worthwhile. That's a thought. Where's my, ah, I need to get the chalk. One second, there's, need to get this out. It's in the other room. I think, do I have, hmm. must be in the other room. All right, I was afraid of that. I can't find a little doohickey that will open this. I don't think I can use any of these guys. No, it's the, it's the gear thing. Well, that's a problem. Um, all right, I'm just gonna have to do what I can. Um, well, another option. is to continue the drilling. Whoops. Okay. That's as far as it goes. Cool. Now, you will again use the glue. Again, just straight up like Elmer's, but it should help a bit. And then we will try to use, yeah, kind of use uh, something that w really would benefit from having three hands. Ooh. Actually, before we do that, I'm going to drive that in a little bit. I don't have to hold it at least. And then let's see what happens here. Am I going, going forwards? Why is this not going in? No, it should be going in like that. Right? Why isn't this driving 
any further. Ah. This is so bizarre. See, there's the... Maybe that'll help. Okay, let's try that. Some fresh glue. Kind of smeared everywhere. Man, this is a very awkward angle to drill at. But it's acting like there's just nothing there. Ah! Why is it... It's just not going in. Does, I mean, you saw the drill go way up in there. But I can't drive it this way. Okay, well. Remember I said before, that you kind of want to drill with a smaller bit. We are now going to Trade up. Hey, Ham. Good evening. Okay. It's certainly possible, but I'm just going in as far as the other drill did. Oh. Again, going backwards. Yeah, this is getting a little ridiculous. But hopefully now I can position it. Get this bandage back on. Man. It's going a fair distance. And it's just stopping. That sucks. <sighs> okay. Um, well, can I split the difference? That's a long one. Do I have any that are halfway between those two sizes so I can at least get it pretty decently in? This is not going to be enough to hold one of those on. Um, I don't appear to. Nope. Nope, they're all about... That's a little longer. Um, but I wouldn't feel particularly great about hanging my coat on it. Um, okay. Um, 
that's slightly better yeah by like a few by like a centimeter or two um hmm well this is disappointing um all right i don't know what i'm gonna do so i could certainly drive one of these smaller screws into here and that would you know provide some support but not nearly enough um i definitely want to do another one in here but I just, I can't seem to get far or deep enough with a regular drill bit. Um, I don't know that I can extend the drill bit enough. Um, And that's, that's barely in. Obviously, it's in a fair ways, but in terms of security, that's just no good. All right, well, so um, this is a project I'm going to have to put on hold. Uh, I'll probably have to talk to my dad about it. He's a uh, carpenter and maker of things, and uh, we may have to do this as a group project, him and me. Um, and we'll figure it out. All right, but I have something else. Get this out of the way for now. Get this back in position. I wanted to share with you a little something, and actually I'll need to go and get something else. One more thing. Okay. <clears throat> hey, Raven. All right, let's let's clear things up a little bit. Uh, like I said, that, that is a stalled project, but we can we can figure things out. You know, it's not the end of the world. Um, I will seek professional help on that one, but. Move this to the side. I can clean this up a little later. No, no reason in spending another 10 minutes playing around with this. Um, okay, so I, I made a mold a while back. This was a project to uh, try molding a, a six sided die. And when I put it in the cup, a little plastic cup, it was not working quite the way I expected it to. Um, because it was in the plastic cup like this, with the die on top, and it sank down to the bottom of the cup. So if this was the bottom of the cup, I put the die up here, and it just sank down to the bottom. I thought, well, that's kind of a failure. But then when I peeled the cup away, I saw the die was on the bottom, which meant I could pull the die from the bottom, and I now have a depression for a six-sided die. And it's not just a pure square. There are actually small indentations for the different numbers in here. So I'm going to go ahead and try to make a die using epoxy and this mold. And you can see I've already written on here uh, D6GS. That means D6 Game Science. Six-sided die, game science. Uh, game science makes what we call precision dice. The corners aren't rounded. They're sharp-edged, which means they roll a little more cleanly. They don't tumble like crazy. Um, and so I am just going to go ahead and mix up some epoxy resin. Let me grab some newspaper from over here. This is going to get a little messy. And I'll probably add a, a glove. That's not a bad idea. Gloves are good when working with resin. Okay, in fact, I'll do two gloves. 
one on each hand. That kind of makes sense. Okay, so. What we're gonna do here is just mix up one to one some of this epoxy resin and just pour it in this this mold. The epoxy resin is pretty sure it's 50 50. Um, yep, equal amounts. I don't need much. So, oh, and then I'll need to mix them, which means I need mixing. There we go. Just a little bit of one of these. All right, so I want just a little bit of each. Because again, that's a very small die. But I need enough that I can actually mix it. It's actually probably twice as much as I need. Okay. So I'm just mixing this. Nothing exciting. actually slightly yellowish in the cup as you can see as I recall it for it um, it dries clear which is one of those weird things about these mix it mixing uh, resins okay and I'll actually put my remainders in the other cup just for safekeeping I'm just gonna pour this very slowly into my mold very slowly any extra will just I'll have to toss unfortunately don't have multiple molds for this go right up to the top I do believe it shrinks slightly when it uh, as it dries so I'm gonna Try to uh, fill this all the way as far as I can. You don't want it to be. Uh... Yeah, there we go. Okay. So there's a dye filled with an epoxy resin. Hey, Buritsu. Hello, Chile. Um, all right, so that's just sitting there. Um, and it will slowly degas, if you will. Um, and we'll see if that turns into a, a six-headed die. Uh, I think it takes uh, about a day for this stuff to really dry thoroughly. 24 hours. So, good. Um, so, I'm just going to leave this. Not do anything with it. I'll actually move it off to one side carefully. Um, and then that's it. That's... Hopefully molding a die. We'll see later on uh, how that works. Um, hello, Derp. Welcome. You're just catching the end of the stream, sadly. Um, uh, working on... Can you see it? A little bit of the... Uh, the coat rack. So I built some of this tonight, but it's not quite ready for prime time. Need to work with my dad about how to actually get all this assembled, but it'll get there. Got it mostly there. Um, so yeah, that's that will hopefully be a six out of die in a couple of, uh, in uh, well about a day. And if I am ready and I, I see this all working by um, tomorrow night, then I may record a little stream record a little video and post it showing me pulling this out and we'll see if it turns into a six out of die we'll, we'll find out all right uh thank you all for joining me for workshop wednesday we did make some progress today even though it didn't quite work out the way we wanted to as is commonly the case and uh we will see how this works out and if i do end up fixing this again i'll, I'll take it to my dad's uh place and we'll we'll fiddle around with it hopefully um and if, it, if i do get it working i'll show you uh, the the finished product 
and what we did. So that's it for Workshop Wednesday. I never found the Zaku's Eye, Hakushiki. Unfortunately, no. Um, and I looked around, it's not there. What I may end up do though is actually kit bashing. I realized I could actually cut off a little bit of white, of uh, clear plastic from the, the sheet that they give me and just glue that on to there uh, instead of the little piece. So that might be my solution. And we'll see and, and on the next kit bash, I'll probably try that. I'll just rip off some, some extra plastic and, uh, and put that on there. So I think that'll, that'll solve it. Um, yeah, <laughs> exactly, Derp. So thanks, guys. And uh, I should be ready to go for Friday for a full live stream. And I hope to see you guys there. So see you guys. Bye.